Hi there everybody, this is Susan with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a card demonstration for you today. This cute little fox uh, who's going to send you some love. Being the beginning of the year and Valentine's Day is next month, I thought we would do some Valentine's Day themed cards. So watch along as I go through um, putting this card together. And if you have any questions um, or need the tutorial when we're done, you can just go to pumpkinhillstampers.com and find all the information. I will put the blog post to follow in the comments below. So it should be really easy to find. Okay, so I'm primarily using the Foxy Friends stamp set offered by Stamping Up. And I'm also going to tie in the words are coming from the set um, Sunshine Sayings. So I built the Sending You Love out of the words from the Sunshine Sayings set. And just put those on a block all lined up. So that's how I got my words. So let's just go ahead and get stamping. So, move this to the side so you guys can see it while I'm working. So as you can see, I've got my pieces for my card here. I'm using crumb cake as my base. I've cut it at 11 by 4 and a quarter, and I've scored it at 5 and a half. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold that and use my bone folder to give that a nice strong crease. So that's going to be the base of my card. Then I have another piece of crumb cake that's going to go across the center here. And I've run that through my Big Shot using the Textured Impression Embossing Folder Woodland. So I got these trees imprinted on there. So there's my piece there. So I'm just going to replace that. Presto changeo. So that's going to be that. Then as you can see, my accented my card with these red. So when we get to constructing it, I have this scrap of half inch red that we're going to use on there. But in the meantime, we need to do some stamping. So let's get some stamping done. Okay, so first we're going to stamp our fox. I am using Tangerine Tango for my color for my fox. So I'm just going to stamp my fox on this piece of Whisper white, like so. I hope that's far enough up to get my circle. We'll find that in a second. And then I have my two and a quarter inch circle punch. So I'm just going to come in and punch him out for the best fit. Okay, get him out. All right. So there's my fox. Now I'm going to stamp the tree from the Foxy Friend set and I'm using Garden Green. So I'm just inking my stamp up. Sometimes I find it easier to apply my ink to my stamp instead of my stamp to my ink. So whichever works better for you. So I'm just going to stamp my tree and we're going to cut this out with our scissors. So I'm not worried about where it goes as long as I get the whole image. Okay, and while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and stamp this little heart bubble on my card. That's also part of the Foxy Friends set. I'm using Real Red. And that's going to fit right there. Again, we're just going to trim that out with our scissors. Okay, so now I'm going to come back to this fox for a second because I'm going to add some detail. So I'm using Chocolate Chip and I'm going to add some legs. Right here. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp that fox one more time. Now this time I'm only really needing the head, so I'm going to ink that up with my orange. I'm going to stamp it a little bit low on my scrap of white here. And then watch this. We have this fun fox builder punch. So you can cut out his body, his head, his tail, and some embellishments there. Um, and then that head fits right in this punch. So again, I use it upside down. And I'm just going to fit the head in there. And pop that out. So now I've got a head to use on my card. So I'm going to pop that up on a dimensional when I get done. And with that same 
chocolate chip ink, I'm going to add the cute little eyes and nose. And since it's photopolymer, I can see right through my stamp to line it up where I want it. Press that down. There we go. All right. So most of our stamping is done now. Most. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the tree and this word bubble out of my paper. So a lot of times um, you'll have scrap uh, left from a previous card. So you know, hang on to that in a in a bucket or a tin, um, and then use that when you need to do little embellishment cutouts like this. You don't always have to cut into a new piece of cardstock. You can use those leftover pieces, especially when you're getting something small like this little word bubble. It just worked out today that I had some scrap from a card that was larger, and so I stamped everything on the same piece. Um, but this is a perfect example of why you could have scrap paper <clears throat> to use on cards. So, so I'm just coming in with my paper snips, as you can see. I always loved the paper snips. It was one of my first tools I bought with Stamping Up many years ago. Let's see, my teenager is now 18 and I started when he was just a baby. So I've been using paper snips a long time. And they just kind of make really smooth cuts around your image. Um, you can kind of just rock them. In. You can get super close if you want to. Sometimes, I like today, I'm cutting a little bit of a bubble around my image. Sometimes I cut close and then I use a marker to shade the edges because I don't want the white. But I think on this one, I do. I want that little edge of white around to make it pop up off the background. <clears throat> Alright, so that was it. Easy peasy, as my five-year-old says. Different ends of the spectrum there. Easy peasy, we got that cut out. Okay, so now let's start building our card. So I'm gonna bring the crumb cake back in, and I'm using Snail. I'm just going to attach my embossed piece of crumb cake to the front of my card. So those are the same way, make sure it's open the right way, yep. So there's my crumb cake. Not too worried about centering it, but somewhat in the center. All right, then I've got this piece of real red, which is just a strip, and I'm just adding some snail to that. And I'm just going to piece this to the top. So I'm running it right along the top of that crumb cake cardstock, and then I'm going to come in with my paper snips again and just trim it off right here, right along the edge. Now I'm going to take the other half of that. That little more snail, and that's going to be the bottom border and end. And if your piece is a little long, again, just snip off that little extra piece. Okay? Alright. So there's the front of our card. Now I'm going to use dimensionals to pop the different elements on. So I'm going to start with my tree, because it's kind of the one farthest back, so wherever you want to put it. Then I've got my fox. So I'm only going to add two to my fox, because it's going to overlap on my tree, and I don't want it to be too thick. I hope that makes sense. So I didn't put one here behind the fox, but I am going to put one behind this head. So it is going to kind of have a second thickness to it. So there's my little head. My cute. And then I've got my word bubble. So I'm going to put my dimensional there. Because that's where I want my word bubble. And I'm just going to overlap that in there. Pretty easy, right? Okay. So now we just have to add our sentiment. So this could really be any card. It could be a get well card. I'm just happy to put sending you love on it. Because I'm in the Valentine's kind of theme. So I've just lined my stamps up on there, and I do test stamp it to make sure it's somewhat in a straight line the way I want it. And now I'm just going to stamp that on my card. Voila. 
we're done. So then I just added that word bubble again to my envelope. If I'm going to take the time to stamp a card, I take the time to stamp my envelope. And that's the project. So I'm going to be doing this with a fun group this coming Sunday, um, who are some new stampers, so I think they're going to enjoy it. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. So um, until I see you again, happy stamping. Again, any questions, you can contact me at pumpkinhillstampers.com. Um, and all the links below in my comments here on YouTube will get you to the various posts. And if you want to shop for the set, please shop with me. And my shop link is down below as well. So have a fabulous start of 2018 and get ready for Valentine's Day. And I'll see you all very soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.